And I think we both know what that are like. Originally, uh, we were going to start the show tonight with me and John Belushi doing the love scene from The Flight of the Bumblebee. That's how come I'm dressed like this. But uh, just now, a network executive contacted our producer, Lauren Michaels, and we had to change our plans. I mean, honey, eyes up, sweetheart. You got a whole show to host out there, you know? I mean, get with it or get out. All right. Let me tell you something, kid. With pores that size, you could drill for oil. Hey, okay, Charlie. Hey, trading when a friend of mine played her album for me on a visit to England. I was very much moved by her voice and her lyrics. I know many of you hadn't heard of Joan, and that's why I'm pleased to have this opportunity to present Joan Armitrading. I'm counting now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Excuse me. Excuse me. What? I have a question. What is it? Uh, you're supposed to be disguised, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, so she's a witch, and uh, he's a clown, and he's a cowboy. So what are you supposed to be? Uh, what? This week's film was made by Sharon Sachs, and this being June, the film is called Brides. <laughs> I'd now like to introduce the members of our bad ballet troupe. The four swans were Claire Trammell, Eileen Pivnik, Mavis Shire, and Buddy Don Gully. <laughs> From your father. You won't admit it is, but it is. The man who said salad was invented by communists, and you're the one who told me he said it. So don't try to get out of it now. Said it in the 50s when people only ate salad in the summer and it wasn't a hot meal, and your father always wanted a hot meal. So he told your mother salad was invented by the communists, and you believed him to this day. Hello. How are you? Have you heard about the Unification Church? Do you mind if we just talk for a while? I do have a beautiful godchild, Alexandra. She came up all the way from Washington, and she's sitting right there. <laughs> Kirk, the uh, makeup people are here from Hollywood. Oh, uh, we, we, we better... What took them so long? We better go. Uh, nice meeting you. Thanks. Their plane was delayed because of the uh, flooding in the uh, in L.A. Wow. Okay, we, we better hurry. We have one minute to air, okay? okay. Kirk, uh, do you think you'll be all right? Yes. Guys, we don't have much time. In five minutes, the ionization effect will wear off. We'll return to normal size, and if we're still here in President Sadat's mouth, we we'll run the danger of exploding through his head. Well, then let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, your micro dentist is proud to present Sam and Dave. Okay, Spartacus, hmm? the Romans are down there. Why? I can fly us in low and buzz them. That ought to scare the bejesus out of them, huh? Oh, jeez. Hey, by the way, if you want to yell or drop something, feel free. You might take a couple of them out. <laughs> Legions of Rome, I hate your guts. <laughs> My oldest boy, the heir to the Lieberman fortune. Your mother, your sister, your brother Jeffrey, and your tante Wilde Chaya. <laughs> We're all brimming with pride on this meaningful occasion. Now, if you're like me, you've probably enjoyed these talented mimics doing their impressions of me for quite a few years now. Now, if imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, I'm finally going to return the tribute by impersonating the impersonators who impersonate me. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. What the hell are you famous for? Oh, now, 
wait a minute. I was, uh, I had my eyes scratched out in the Vikings. I was crucified in Spartacus. I, I cut my ear off in, in Lust for Life. Yeah, 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 yeah. But who'd you kiss? Well, I made love to fire a faucet in Saturn Three. Oh, yeah. She comes in here. She don't use hand cream. Yeah, I know. <laughs> something to me it's a miracle that they can do this show but they did tell me that sooner or later it's one o'clock and here it is one o'clock right. i'm gonna let you into a little secret the only reason i did this bloody show was to get a new permit anyway <laughs> It's the wholesome drink that keeps you up. <laughs> A message from the American Milk Association inviting you to drink milk. Oh, uh, it's just that Yoko hopes to buy Pennsylvania. And I'd like to find a fabric softener that shows my family I really care because I do really. <laughs> oh no, me cake. Okay, try to stay on. Oh, this is more fun than a flogging. Oh, I love it. What's it called again? Uh, surfing. Uh, <laughs> now, where is the stripper? Where is he? Oh, the really Oh, what the? Now, just hold on. We got plenty of time. We want to see when the season starts. We want to make it legal-like. Oh, yeah. oh, boom! For crying out loud. My uh, it's very nice of you, considering that uh, most of you don't have any idea who I am. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm glad you don't recognize me, because that proves I'm doing my job. <laughs> see, I'm a film actor, and when I take on a role, I try to submerge myself in the character. Here I am is Private Joker in Full Metal Jacket. And uh, here I am... Sammy's! I volunteered to coach the Little League team down at the community center. Squibbers? Yeah. I figure you gotta start them young, you know? Teach them good sportsmanship. Teach me you can play hockey without violence. I'm gonna teach them you don't have to fight to have a good time. I'm gonna... Ah, uh, who am I kidding? That's There's another thing, thing you're never, never gonna, gonna do. do. Oh, good heck, bye! Looked him straight in the eye and said, Senator, <laughs> you're no Jack Kennedy. <laughs> Lloyd, how's that uh, martini treating you? Not too bad. Thank you. I wish the polls were treating us a little bit better. Well, Lloyd, we, we represent unpopular and discredited views. Mike, now that it's all over, you can tell me you were going to raise taxes, weren't you? <laughs> well, well, what have we here? An intellectual boy! Where'd you go to college? Sir, I attended the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, sir! What's your name, soldier? Sir, Einstein, sir! Einstein, huh? You're a regular smart person. Yeah, Mr. Smart Person! Sir, may I suggest you nickname me Einstein, sir! Don't you mouth off at me! You're Mr. Smart Guy mouthing off at me! Here we go. <laughs> oh, if this tastes as good as it smells, mm -hmm. I think Beth has outdone herself again. <laughs> oh, I can't take the credit. It's your recipe. <laughs> well, it looks delicious. <laughs> I love you, you know. I know. People always tell me that I'm pretty. Everyone always says, she's pretty. I hate it. <laughs> You're conceited. <laughs> You're a weirdo. I'm over you. You're dropped. I don't talk to you anymore. I don't think about you when you're not here, you know. At least I don't have to wear a harness. Mr. Nicholson, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Jim Brewer here. Just want to know what you think of my impression. <laughs> you want to know the truth? You can't handle the truth. But they're not going to get me, Dee Dee. Oh, no. I'm sticking to my own independent label, Adorable Adoptable. Oh, kudos to you, Derek. Thanks. Kudos. I am so blessed. I am so blessed, Dee Dee. Thanks to my dolls, I was finally able to afford to have my teeth widened and get peck implants. Ooh, still healing, oh, actually. Gosh. A tender still. <clears throat> and wherever I go, I always go with my best friend, Lucky Boots. Now, listen up. I want everyone in the audience to look me in the eye when I say this next bit, all right? Look me in the eye! Lucky Boots wears a boot on each paw because he wants a little extra height and yet he still wants to feel masculine. <laughs> no other reason, you got me? But what do we have to do to convince you that this is not a joke? <laughs> look at my face. Look at my face. Do I look like I'm laughing? Uh, Vince, it's, it's okay, we got this. Vince, it's okay. Hold up. Just take, take a walk. <laughs> That's what the world was like in 1975, and it's out of that that SNL satirical voice was born. I should have hosted then, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> they squeezed by without me. <laughs> Here's a look at 40 years of political humor on Saturday Night Live.